So what do parents do when they need to find a babysitter? They start the long and painful process of calling around their babysitters. They start with their most favourite babysitter, their second, and they keep moving down their list until they find someone available. Often, they are not. So now they start the next long and painful process of calling around their friends, asking parents at school pickup. They call their babysitters. This calling around process can go on for hours and days. This is not helpful if you need a babysitter tonight or even tomorrow night. The whole process is completely inefficient and does not work in today's world of busy parents and busy households. I know this because I am a babysitter. In fact, I have started my own babysitting business to overcome this problem. There's a lot of people out there trying to solve this problem, but nobody's captured it and it's highly fragmented. There's three sorts of competitors, bricks and mortar agencies, online agency models and classifieds. They're either time consuming or not scalable. But one thing they all lack is an element of trust. 93% of the parents I've surveyed said they have not and will not use agencies because there is no element of trust. We see it as different because it works by leveraging the trust people already have of their offline networks. The first thing the app does is help you to connect with your current babysitters. From here, you can schedule your babysitters and manage bookings using push notifications. No more calling and texting, no more chasing. All you need to do is hit a button. But what happens if no one is available? We sit handles that as well. WeSit will allow you to find other trusted babysitters by using your existing networks. These aren't random people being suggested. These are recommendations from your networks. These are the people already looking after your friends' children. Imagine how useful that would be if your sitter decided to cancel one hour before they were due to arrive. The opportunity is huge. There are 2.8 million households in Australia with children in the right age group for babysitting, and they spent $245 million on babysitting last year alone. And this amount doesn't account for those jobs paid in cash. Our initial primary research indicates that 50% of families use paid babysitters. From years of experience and the conversations I've had with the market, I know they need this service. The responses we received have been extremely positive and 100% validating. Through my babysitting business, we have our first 100 customers already lining up, ready to go. On top of that, over $50,000 in seed funding has been offered to me by the parents. The future users of this service want to financially back WeSit because this is such a pain point for them. User acquisition is driven by the parents. Parents already form networks to help each other out. Parents use our application to request contacts for babysitters from other parents in their networks. <laughs> and this gives us the opportunity to start targeting parents to grow the network. We'll also approach customers through strategic partnerships and mummy blogs. We sit plans to make money by charging users a, a booking fee for each booking and a transaction fee every time a booking is paid through the app. We also have a bunch of cool ideas for down the track where we will let babysitters discount their capacity to, to secure last minute spontaneous bookings that would not have occurred otherwise. We've got a great team. I've been babysitting for over 10 years and I've been running my own business for a good portion of that. I know the industry inside out from both the babysitter's point of view and the parents. Stephen Merity is our technical co-founder and he has already started creating a seamless user experience for the product. Stephen received the first class honours at the university. He received first class honours and the university medal in computer science from the University of Sydney. He was one of the early co-founders in Zero Mail. He's worked at Freelancer.com and Google Sydney. Jeff is our senior senior board member, our grey-haired old person who provides a wealth of experience. He's our naysayer and challenges everything we're doing in the business. He's founded many successful companies, including Shopfast, which sold to Coles in 03, and then we've got Matt. He's, released, he's founded four tech co companies, and his most recent, recent venture is Curicon, which he's raised money for here and in the US. We've brought on our technical co-founder, have our 100 pre-registered users signed up and ready to go. We've been offered $50,000 in seed funding from our users. In the next two months, we're getting the prototype into the hands of our pre-registered users and we'll focus on refining the product. A few months after that, we will be raising capital to speed up our marketing and engineering efforts as we expand across Australia. Of course, we will be expanding internationally down the track. 
We SIP solves one of the largest pain points for parents, finding trusted babysitters to look after their children. This market is ripe for disruption and we have the perfect combination of people, passion and experience to make this happen. Thanks. <laughs> that's made we'll take the booking fee no no establishment fee um, and we'll be looking at taking a transaction fee for any credit card payment that is paid through the app but that's only a small percentage and we won't be, be bringing that on until further down the track in our revenue so models like, like yep uh, it is cash yeah with the babysitter um, we're gonna the way that happens in the real world it's it's left up to the parent and the babysitter so no, for example, I have I charge different families different prices depending on when I started babysitting for them, how many kids they got, how far away they are from me. Um, so I would, if I was on this app, I would I wouldn't advertise a price. Um, I can, recommend? Yeah, I might have um, a bracket 20, 25, whatever it is. Why don't you charge it for the app? Yeah. Yeah, so basically, <laughs> the way that we want to actually spread is because we're going to give users an initial free trial with a few bookings for free. Um, hopefully get it in their hands for them to realize how powerful it really is. Um, and from that, then they will offer basically to share their babysitting network to other parents. So that's one way that we spread. And for that to work, it can't be charged. Um, it, well, yeah, we're it's large basically yeah, the best way to get the large uptake initially. <laughs> Additionally, for babysitters themselves, they don't have to pay a single cent through the app. Um, in fact, babysitters don't even need to be on the app for it to work. So basically, the whole aim is to make it as seamless as possible um, without having any friction to actually get started and to realize how good this service is. Yes. Uh, two questions. How can you stop a company like Weird and Annie from uh, doing what you're doing around connecting parents yeah. and sharing the networks? And do parents actually want to share their babysitters? I would never share my cleaners. Yeah, OK. Share. So the first question, we need a nanny. Um, so with that site, a, a parent would go on there and um, they post a, a job booking, like a job. It could be full-time, part-time or whatever it is. Um, babysitters come on, they send through their CVs. The parent has to go through the CVs. They've got to choose one. Usually they interview, they ring up their contacts. It's basically doing what an agency does, but you're removing the middleman of the agency. So it's time consuming. People don't want to do that. If I'm a mother and um, I don't have a babysitter tonight for whatever reason, I'm not going to go online and find a, a a person online, I'm going to ring up my best friend and say, can I borrow your babysitter for the night? And that comes back to your second point, definitely people do not want to share their favourite babysitter. I'm people's favourite babysitter, they don't want to share me. So in the app, when you share um, babysitters, you'll be able to, um, they're going to sit in tears. So your first favourite babysitter, you might not want to share, or even your second one, but you're happy to share your third and your fourth. So, <laughs> well, because this is what happens in the, this is what happens in the real world. Um, and the way the app will work is you tell the app, are you racking me up? Yep. Do you want to speak after? <laughs> Very good answer. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, thanks. <laughs>